Yeah, that's right. Well, earlier this evening, we did indeed uh, hear Benjamin Netanyahu, Israeli Prime Minister, giving an address to the, nat to the nation. Uh, he spoke uh, of the fight for survival for Israel. Uh, of course, he mentioned that the country was preparing for a ground war, but he didn't go into details about those preparations, uh, no mention of the timing, uh, of course. Uh, he did, however, say that the war cabinet would reach a consensus, uh, a decision on when uh, to launch that ground invasion. Uh, he also reiterated calls uh, for people living in the Gaza Strip to head south to evacuate the northern part of uh, the territory. Uh, and he also said that he would uh, answer uh, for what happened on October 7th, uh, those massacres uh, carried out by Hamas, uh, perhaps a, a rare admission uh, uh, of partial responsibility uh, for not preventing uh, those uh, attacks from taking place. Uh, and uh, also uh, another thing he mentioned was that he encouraged uh, citizens in Israel to carry arms. Uh, and I have to say that since uh, we've been here in Tel Aviv, uh, we have certainly seen lots of citizens uh, carrying uh, weapons with them on the streets. OK, and uh, with regards to what's happening in Gaza itself today, what's the latest you're hearing about the situation there this evening? Yeah, well, we know that the uh, the Ministry of Health in Gaza, which is run by uh, Hamas, uh, says that uh, in the last 24 hours, more than 700 uh, people have been killed uh, in uh, Israeli uh, strikes. Now, uh, we cannot independently verify those figures. What we do know, however, is that the UN says that fuel supplies are running critically uh, low, uh, and that's obviously important because hospitals in the Gaza Strip rely on fuel uh, to operate. Uh, the UN says supplies could dry up as soon as uh, tonight. Uh, we know that one third of hospitals in the Gaza Strip have already uh, stopped uh, running, uh, and that's because uh, Israel ha has already cut off electricity supplies. It cut off those electricity supplies to the Gaza Strip uh, in the aftermath of uh, the massacres that took place on October 7th. And hospitals depend now on backup generators uh, to work. And the problem is, of course, those backup generators need fuel uh, to run. Now, Israel, uh, for its part, says that uh, there is fuel, but it says that Hamas is stockpiling it. Of course, Hamas denies those allegations. Uh, but whatever the truth of the matter, uh, it's ordinary civilians uh, who are caught up in the middle, as usual.